24 hours, two bodies turned up in a small town of DeSoto, Kansas. Now, these locations are separated only by about two and a half miles, separated by K-10. Now, a person out for a walk found the first body about 3.30 yesterday afternoon. That was near 95th and Sunflower. There are strong indications that may be the body of Brad Cook. He disappeared last week. Now, this morning, another body turned up, this one in the 8500 block of Ottawa Street. This body was found right outside an apartment complex. It was the body of a man in his 20s, and investigators told us the cases do not appear to be connected. Now, DeSoto is not a big town. Its population stands a little under 5,700, 5, I should say. Andres Gutierrez is live in DeSoto, where he spent his day talking with those taken back by the police investigations. Good evening, Mark. Throughout the day today, people have been coming up to us asking how something like this could have happened after that second body was found right behind those trees. Many of those people are in disbelief that something like this could happen in a community that is usually quiet. Georgia Kale has called the town of DeSoto home for more than 50 years. It's fair to say that she's seen and heard quite a lot around the community over the years, but nothing like this. It's not our town. It's not our little community. To have something like this happen. I guess it does sooner or later. That's something the discovery of two bodies within a day of each other. The latest one this morning behind the carport of an aplex. It's hard to comprehend that two people that hasn't had a chance of life to have something like this happen to them. Up the block from the crime scene at Wanda's Roadside Cafe, customers eating at lunchtime couldn't avoid talking about it. Oh, everybody, everybody. It's, of course, you know, being a little restaurant, you've, I've heard everything. I'm surprised something like this is going on here. Meanwhile, law enforcement is reassuring residents that they are safe. What we can say is that, you know, people should not be afraid. Um, you know, we're, we're working this. We'll come to a resolution on it. I hope they find out what happened pretty fast. And we won't know the identity of that man that was found this morning until an autopsy is performed later this week. Reporting live in DeSoto, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.